Okay, it should be good now. I don't know why uh, all my uh, inputs were uh, thrown around. That's it's really right. weird. Well, something bad did have to happen at some point. It was too easy to have 20 drivers and then start on time this evening. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just... It's just just couldn't all happen at the same time. Uh, Yee Mix will set the first uh, lap of this evening, a 109 flat. I have a feeling that will be beaten. Uh, it's going to be really tight in qualifying. It usually is around here. Uh, Brazil has supplied us with quite a few good finishes, uh, especially in COS. I don't know one that I was a part of in uh, season six, I believe, uh, where. It was a last two lap sprint to the finish and people had penalties and at that stage of the game you didn't know who had a penalty and who did. Uh, Twitch Caxel has just gone quicker uh, than Tay and Stelcho has just gone quicker than him. Summers is gone into second place. I will just get through the last little oh. bits of... What a oh, monster. Of had. We're going the wrong way, that's... well. Lost the first, anybody? I think there could be a few attempts at that this evening. Uh, the substitutions for the final race. Uh, Tay is in the Red Bull. That is the other empty seat. He's That's, that's his seat. It has been for the last couple of weeks. Uh, Yeet Mix is in for Remy. We were supposed to take over a Yeet Mix, but just allow it. It's, it's fine. Um, Connor's going to go into the Mercedes for Donny. Uh, that's an easy swap because that is... Uh, his EU4 to EU3. Uh, Gredis the same into a Haas. Uh, Summers is replacing Griffin at Alpine. Charlie is also replacing Limits at Alpine. And then Destructor, as we said, mentioned earlier, in for Lewis. I think this is a good time, Hako, to um, show our gratitude to the EU3 drivers that have on the whole for quite a few of them have turned up week by week but also the commitment of the EU4 boys because there's been not many races this season where we've had less than 18 for, for yeah race. I mean I'm very su surprised with with the attendance this season it's been great to see um, especially with the uh, air reserves uh, standing in, in as well uh, it's been great to see how much people have uh, have been wanting to drive in the EU3. It's been a great season to watch and uh, commentate mm -hmm. as well. We will g all get very sentimental and a few tears and tissues later on, I think, when we finish, for some people. Um, Nasuda has just gone quickest. Uh, he uh, he is definitely, uh, unfortunately, won't be returning next season. Uh, he's been with us for a couple of seasons now, which is really, really good. Uh, he's going to be deployed and stationed in Finland with the army very very soon so he won't be able to continue so it will definitely be his final race uh, with us and we wish him good luck in the future and his future endeavors whatever shall happen to him stay safe and respect from us there'll probably be a few more people departing and also some people staying on we don't know yet I had a meeting last night Hako oh you had a and meeting I know, th I know things Oh, you know things. I don't know anything. I may, spoil it. <laughs> I may spoil it at the end of the stream. Who knows? I'll, I'll see how I'm feeling. But yeah, there, some things happened. No leaking. Oh, Beaky doesn't... No, Beaky, please! Can I, can I tease them? Why was I not invited? <laughs> um, well, I can leak one thing. The one thing I can leak, um, it will be mentioned possibly on an AM stream. Uh, as of next season, uh, contest speak will have two general managers that are overseeing uh, each region of uh, the F1 side of things. Uh, my partner in crime is currently in the chat. He will be overseeing the American side of things, so congratulations BK. And then the European side of things, you have to deal with myself. Sorry. Unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> be fine um but it's run smoothly so it's uh oh the Sula's crash season he has crashed that step out the one. pits or yeah that looks like it's on track that's um, a weird place to crash it is a very weird place to crash so 
have corner in tonight again. Or oh, create penalty for Katzel. For blocking. That's why that's on an, don't do that. That's a, that's a silly one because that's on an outlap. Destructo was, but hey ho. Um, Stelcho is improving slightly. Um, Tenth up. And he's got one corner to go. Could be on for a P1 slot if he does improve in the last sector, and he does improve in the last sector. So it is P1 for now. 18.2. I don't think I can go faster than that. I am quite that slow around here. It's that's pretty impressive in terms of the time he managed to find there at the end of that nearly a tenth and a half. So um, nice tidy final sector. That uh, yeah, the exit out of Young Young Sal is a uh, quite important to keep the speed. Oh, uh, Gredis has gone. Yeah, and Gredis has gone two and a half, got a quarter second faster through the middle sector. So we're going to see possibly here a run for pole and he's got a slight toe from the car in front and it's we just will about see Gredis go to the top of the time sheets. Uh, the EU4 champ who will definitely probably see an EU3 next season. On the new game, if not most no, likely, yep. Yeah. Castle too. is on a lap, oh, and he's only moved up to fifth position. He lost uh, quite a bit in the last sector. It was more than two tenths up, and Yeet makes moved up to a one eight point three. It's very close at the top. I mean, and that's what you expect around here. Um, we've got some very interesting battles here in terms of just bragging rights in terms of the drivers' championship. Uh, Dan and Almanac are only separated by eleven uh, by nine points in, sorry, eleven points in Dan's favour. That is over second place. Uh, Caxel is a little bit behind and probably needs a, a, a strange result for things to happen. Uh, and then a uh, fight for fifth is between Nasula, Stelcho, Nico. Uh, let's see who comes fifth, sixth, or seventh between those guys and a few close battles for the minor places uh, in terms of the constructors uh, pretty much spread out however uh, it's not quite sorted out between Aston Martin, Haas, McLaren and Williams for 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th and that's important for overall constructors that is true championship especially between uh, McLaren and Williams because I think that is the, the two teams one, where yeah. it's very, very close. Uh, it may mean that elbows get put out a little bit more tomorrow if uh, Hako comes along and he's near me at some point. Yeah, I will push you off the track. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so I will return the favour if I get the opportunity to, so don't you worry about it. Yeah, it's <laughs> about nine points before last night between uh, Williams and McLaren. I think the EU4 boys did quite well for the McLaren team, so we'll see what happens. Uh, Ferrari lead the way in that championship by quite a bit, so I think it's Ferrari's to wrap up at some point. Oh, Lanky almost lost it, and he did lose it. Speaking, yeah, speaking of a Ferrari, Lanky did lose it. Um, I was just about to mention, though, depending on the tyre allocation of drivers, you could see people do four runs around here. It is possible. That is indeed possible. Um, the only thing you have to think about is if you want to press it for the race. Uh, for that safety car, yeah. The boy, however, there wasn't many last week. Around Qatar. Mm, no, there wasn't. But... Well, I mean, there was one, but I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I mean, we had one in the U2, I guess. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I um, wonder who caused that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you saved me. I was massively on the field. Uh, we have an interesting predicament, Hako. There's some pre precipitation fall falling from the sky. Oh, And I don't think rain. we're going to see much improvement out there so this could be our grid uh, I 
think it will be our grid here for uh, the race. We have about five minutes to go. Everybody's retiring the pits, just realising what's going on. Yep, Nico does look to have a bit of a loose rear. But he's only a tenth down, so it's not too bad as of yet. Uh, with the water. Charlie's out there. Charlie's out there at the moment, not really set a time. So, uh, you can just put one on the board, which means he just makes sure he finishes 17th rather than 18th or 19th. I've not really talked about, about much of the track. No, we haven't. Apparently, apparently there's 15 corners, but I don't really know if I count the last three. <laughs> no, they're like Cause only kings, aren't they? They're only king it's flat out in these cars now with the uh, amount of downforce that they have. Um, but we will see Diloris in action and two detection points, so... We could see a lot of people overtake into turn one and then re overtake into turn four after the uh That is indeed true. After the cinemas, yeah. Done the old retro po retro pasta. Oh the track does look to have lost quite a bit of uh grip now. Uh yes, I we mean do see that Charlie's if you look at Rob. Charlie's just put it up to 13th though, so he's he, he's gone from possibly being 17th to 13th, so he's managed to find some time out there on that lap, so... Let's have rain well, in the race! Well, we'll see what happens. We've not heard anything as of yet. Uh, Caxwell's not improving, so... Probably expecting to see the guys currently out there to come into the pits, and... Um, Probably be the end of qualifying. It most likely will be. A few things were discussed. Not put in last night, not put in concrete. I threw a suggestion out which perhaps people would maybe get behind. And whilst we've got a bit of low in proceedings, I would like to hear what pe other people think in the chat. Where's your stance on points for qualifying? Oh no. Good, fine. That's that's a that's a good enough opinion for me. <laughs> oh no! I will get the chair up. Can hear one of your TVs, by the way. I think that might be Matty. Um. Uh, probably mine. If I'm really close, I think I leant forward there, so I apologise. Your free drivers qualifying faster than me. Oh, Williams in the butt. <laughs> Dan is retired, uh, we've got Charlie tied, and then the Alpha Tarries, two minutes remaining. Oh, there's always one! God! <laughs> it's Caxel. <laughs> Pin it into the wall! I don't think points in quality is a no, good suggestion. It, it's only be, it, it's only come about only because um, we one thing that gets discussed quite a bit is obviously people retiring from the race, things like that. So the point system. Uh, do you, do you give points down further down? But I don't like it. Like they've discussed in F in proper F one, but I I don't know where I sit with that. Oh, I've been kicked. Oh, this is very suboptimal. Okay. Oh, we know I've won again. Uh, this is not good. I think, okay. yeah, I've been thrown off the Steam servers. <laughs> there it is. Oh, no. I knew it was going way too well for us to be doing. Uh, oh. To get through an evening. That is unfortunate. Do you have uh, the results? We might have uh, to restart I the lobby after everyone being we kicked. We might have to restart the lobby, yeah. I will go. Um, if my phone wouldn't do it. 
I would need to restart my Steam as well. You just know it's when it's a good day, something's always going to ruin it. Yep, something will always ruin it. So I think it uh, looks like we're going to have to try and restart here. Um, yeah, lobby will be messed up if if that many, many people gets kicked, it will mess up the lobby. And it won't be fair for anyone, for everyone who's kicked. No, we've lost two, we lost one. Interesting though, we've not lost all of them. We lost Nasula, Almanac, yourself. Rob, maybe? Mons. No, Rob's still there, I think. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, can I see if I'm trying to get you back in? Yeah, but I think we need to restart. Yeah. That many people have been thrown out. I think it says something in the rules. With three people more disconnecting to restart. Do you have uh Yeah, I have got the um the gone up in a second. Oh. I can't do it that way just now. Do it this way. Cold's cold. Talk right. amongst yourselves. Dun, 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 dun. I dun, can't dun, even dun, get dun, online dun, on dun, Steam. Dun, dun. Oh no. With mass amounts of drivers cannot rejoin right. qualifying. It will be cancelled. Yeah, but qualifying was done, so. Qualifying was done. It was draining. No one was improving. It was. It was done. <laughs> it was done about five minutes early. Um, I will set up a new lobby. My, I cannot get my stuff to work. My Steam just does not want to start. <laughs> this is... Oh... Steam is so bad. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna start... I'm, I'm gonna start inviting people and we will try and sort things out. Those that are in the um, Twitch chat. I'm gonna use this opportunity here and um, the opportunity I'm going to use it for is that if anybody's got any suggestions they want to potentially see implemented for next season, anything that you'd like changing, throw your suggestions in there. I will try and see them all. And, uh, can have a... Well, oh, steam is up now again. Just got to restart it. But anyone who's on Steam, just restart your Steam and it should be working. Yep. I don't know if you've got the uh, ability to do that. I was going to say, can you just... Uh, you know what, I'm going to tell them anyway, and then remind them in the announcement chat. Do remember when you do join back, please remember to put your setups on. Please. Because I will not be restarting it if you haven't loaded your setup in and done it properly. Sports. It's in the game. I tell you what. Oh, uh, 
wow, it's doesn't. very loud. I uh, I tell you what does need to be improved for next game, Hacko. What? Is the ability to invite more than one person at a time. Because at the moment, I'm literally well, yeah. just inviting friends and then scrolling quite far down <laughs> each time. And it's, it does take a uh, bit of a long time. Lobby restarts after Cody. That would be a good shout, to be honest. Uh, I do think that's a great idea, especially when I, uh, I, issues can I happen. I wouldn't want to. Yeah, I wouldn't want to do it every race though. That's no, you wouldn't. But it would help with a lot, of, lot of the issues that we usually meet. I know they do it in quite a few. Uh, high tier leaks to avoid issues well oh, this is really helpful that uh, everybody else seems to um, be joining pretty quickly uh, for people that are drivers that are still listening please give me a minute I've got to do the grid editor it will take time if you ready up, I will kill you. <laughs> in game, of course. In game. In game, in game, in game. Of course, not in real life. Jesus. How harsh do you think I am? Uh, we are missing a Red Bull. That's fine. I'm missing a Aston Martin. And it seems to be Mons is the one that's struggling the most. Yeah, because he's not back on the line yet. I can't see him. Uh, Come on now, good team season. I'm gonna invite Hilly. <laughs> um, is Misula in? I don't know, I threw her name invite if he doesn't have one. He is in. No one. I don't have anyone else. Oh. It's up to you. There he's gone. Uh, I think that will be, once we get there, that will be everybody. Um, where are we? Well, first of all, Do we, settings. Need sort, we need to sort that out. Uh, we are into Lagos this evening. Uh, we also need to have a quick look, because it, it would have changed it, because it likes doing it. Where is it? Rules and flags. Oh, it didn't change it. Wow. That's a first. Uh, the weather is, I've been told, it is dry. I will double check. Yeah, dry. I will use this time to charge my phone. Okay. Then I've got to. Oh no! Oh, somebody had a penalty, didn't they? Yeah, Kexel. So you have to go because I haven't got it from there because it then broke afterwards. Good thing I remembered. Otherwise, there would have been uproar. Right, so the weather is clear. That's what we're now going to keep it on. Uh, right. Where am I now? Weekend structure. Yes. Hopefully we'll, we'll, you will be starting soon. Um. Yeah, it's not as straightforward as that. So, we have got uh, Gredes is on pole. Delcho is in second. Nasula qualified in third. Uh, Deep Mix in fourth. Uh, Almanac in fifth place. Uh, Caxel is in sixth, but I will do his penalty afterwards. He's going to get a 
everybody else in first. Uh, Nico seventh. Destructo eighth. Ninth was Summers. Tenth was Tay. Eleventh is Lanky. Lanky, Lanky, Lanky. Twelfth, uh, Wisey Boy. Thirteenth, Charlie. Fourteenth, uh, Rob. Fifth, Dink, Andre, Ty in sixteenth, Dan, seventeenth, Connor, eighteenth, Isaac, and then Mont, and then we're going to drop Caxel down in five places. Starts in eleventh place. Right. Grid. Confirm changes. Grid is set. Uh, the settings and all that is done as well. Yep. Weather is all dry. Cool. Right. I think, Hako, we are good to go. I will remind you three. Yes. Finally. I almost fell asleep. <laughs> I can't reinstate your five great place grid penalty. It's what the game does. You wouldn't be doing it in a proper race, so unlucky. We are not stewards. If it was in the rules, we could do something about it, but we can't. It is what it is. You can send me the clip if you want to. The answer is still going to be the same. I don't know. Um. Right. Okay, cool. We're good to go. Um, guys, remember to do your setups. Uh, make sure you've loaded them. Uh, please uh, make sure that you give each other enough time to get your strategies and everything else sorted. Um, and to load your setups, etc., etc. That does change the strategies a little bit because everybody's going to have fresh new tyres. And we are 10 seconds away from loading up and getting going. Thank you for everybody's patience. Hopefully, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Keep going, hold on. Ooh. We've got a blank screen on the stream. I don't like it. Yep. That was because I was tapped out sort of my chat window. That is fine. Uh it is glorious sunshine here in Interlagos. Uh, it will be dry through the majority of the race. Now it is time for the driver's sort of strategies. I don't know what they did in eSports, but I'm pretty sure hard medium is the way to go. You used to be able to do a medium soft or a soft medium around here. Yeah, but I do think medium tyres are the best tyre in the game for races, so you most likely want to use them. But people could go on to softs now that they got a new set. You can't do soft medium too. The softs just don't work after five laps. Okay. Or it might just be a skill issue for me. Um, but I it really depends on your driving style. So hopefully setups are being loaded. We're waiting for players still. So I mean somebody they haven't pressed the button yet, which is good. Um I'm pretty sure 
you should be able to are you waiting for Q2? No, we are waiting no. for the uh, start of the race. Um, so we, had to do that. we had a lovely Bobby restart. restart. If it happens, I'll tell you what, I can't wait for it hap to happen during qualifying. Same. Do you know what happens if it's during qualifying? You have to restart qualifying. No, it's one shot. One shot oh. qualifying. Yeah, that'd be great. Could you imagine? That wouldn't be great for me. People would love doing that, that'd be, that'd be hilarious. Um, I'm waiting it to tick over to the stream so it ticks over to 41 minutes and then start reading up. So you've got about 10 seconds to sort yourselves out. Uh, I haven't heard any issues from drivers as of yet, which is the bad thing. Or the good thing, that girl uh, in the speakers is uh, talking. You too may much. must, you may press the button if you want to. If you want to start, that'd be fantastic. Somebody. Yeah, there oh, we go. We are now on with the lights. Oh, that was. And we have five lights, and we are go for the finale in EU3. And we have Grealis with a decent start, but Stelzio does take the lead into turn one, and he is off with a good start. Nisula and Yeetmix are side by side through the Senesis, and it will result in Nisula up into P3. We have fights down the field. We have Nico and Destructor fighting for P6. And then we have some fighting behind with Charlie and Lanky. I'm pretty sure, but it does look to be uh, one line now. Oh, and Nico almost lost the car, but now we have Destructor on the outside. It turns into the inside for this long right-hander. He is on the soft tires and uh, yeah. does make the move stick. Yeah, ne uh, Destructor on the soft tires, Summers, uh, Isaac and Andre all on the softs. Uh, everybody else... Uh, in the top 10 is on the medium tyre, other than Tay is on the hards. Uh, then we've got hard runners of Lanky, Ty, Rob and Dan and Mont and Connor. So, um, mediums yep. at the front, hard tyre strategy at the back, which is very interesting. And the Williams guys on the move again, as we always see. Uh, yep, as so usual. And that is Ty trying to make a move on to Lanky, and he does make it. Will Rob follow suit? He will try to m follow suit, and he will do it. And it's a sent down the inside, and it's a beautiful move by Rob. But Lanky does cut the corner to oh, try Nisula's and get. Oh, gone. Oh, yeah, Nasula has gone. He spun the car, and he is now last. Besides uh, Isaac, he isn't because Isaac's had to come in for an early stop, five seconds for speed in the pit line, and is bolted on the medium tyre. Uh, everybody else has made a lot of positions. I've seen the super Oh, Rob is there. spun by Dan. Oh. Wow. Oh, um, and Andre's just dropped it as well. Oh. oh spun by Dan. Ouch. Ooh, that's uh, seeming on straight. That's a that's, that's a, a surprise. They is a surprise, and considering those two have pretty much been next to each other all season and haven't killed each other, so that's a. It's probably a little bit chopped. It's between those two because they've uh, they've all st both started at the back of the grid usually and make their way through. Um, a lot of people making up positions. Caxel ups for a uh, Charlie up five. Uh, Charlie's slightly out of position with his qualifying compared to what we know he can do on the medium tyre, however. Um, and Wisey Boy also trying to make a move on some uh, guys on the soft tyres. Don't seem to be doing too great. No, does. So in, and so he's in the pits for a front wing and the hard tyre. Oh, and Isaac's in as well. And that could be a retirement, I think. Unless he's going to go into a set of hards. Yeah, and it is a train down to P7. Caxel will need to try and push to get within that one second. The ice is very powerful around here, and you do want to have it. Especially coming out the first straight. Um, especially the slipstream as well. Uh, and he does just about get within, but does he have it at the line? I don't think he does. No, he does not. So uh, the train is now officially broken, and the structure is on the back of Almanac, um, heading into turn one, but isn't close enough to make a move. Still, is stretching 
his lead a bit. So he's looking good on the medium tire. Um, and Yeetmix is trying to see if he can get a move on. Uh, Dan's got past the Williams this time without hitting it. <laughs> good past to see. Uh, good. Good. Gonna try and close that gap uh, to Summers, who's just about hanging on um, onto the uh, coattails of the lead group. As you said, pretty much got a DRS train down to where Capsule is, is just on the edge of the DRS train. Really, really close, but. Yeah. Probably needs doing it. Uh, Tay has made a good start in P9 on the hard tyres. The highest hard runner uh, so far. He is be indeed. Be Thank interesting to see if the guys can keep the tyres, Hacko, in the operating window and not um, overheat them. Yep, indeed. And we do have Charlie now moving up. Will he just about reconnect the train? He isn't yet, but I think he might do it. Uh, he does seem to have great pace in that Alpine. Uh, uh, we have a free wide moment into turn one. Oh, and there's contact. And I'm getting oh, really poor camera angles. And Charlie has lost that place to Caxel. Um, I'm not surprised because... Whoa, I've just seen the front of the of the field it's all got very close to each other and oh, Nico's Nico collided and with Almanac and there's a win Ooh, it the constructors battle has had its first turn of the evening and we now have Destructo oh yeah he's it's got Destructo. front wing damage yeah I oh think... it's the Ferrari and the Al it's the Ferrari and the Alpha Tauri have come together and I might just believe that Nico's been an, a victim in that. What, a slightly innocent bystander on all of that? Yeah, sounds like it. Um, so, into the pits. has come. Uh, so, Nico stayed out and Al Monac has stayed out. They stayed out ahead of the hard runners, which is important for their race. Uh, McLaren going strong so far. Stelcho back ahead of Grelis. Because uh, Yenix is out in front. I think we missed all the carnage because they were all together for some reason. Yeah, I mean, I saw the free wide moment and I just got a really poor angle. And then I switched around and then suddenly someone was spun around. Um... Uh, that was a bit, uh, bit weird if I'm gonna be honest. Um, but, yeah, even with all that, Caxel isn't within the DRS and he's being pushed around by Charlie. Who Charlie's lost the rear. Ch yeah, yeah, Charlie's shown some great pace uh, in U4 and probably one of the guys that probably deserve it to move up if the, we were keeping on the game cycle. Yep, indeed. He's, Mixing it in with the E3 guys as we see Dan try and go around the outside of Summers on the soft tyre. Yep, the soft Which... tyre is officially on the cliff of grip. Uh, at least the first cliff uh, around 20 to 25 percent. So that so is why his loss of pace is that significant. And we have one oh, Tate, yeah, trying to overtake Wisey Boy gives him a little bit of space, and now we're on the exit of turn five. And Wisey Boy will have the inside for that next corner. And the Alfa Romeo seems to be backing everybody else up, seems to be the cork in the bottle because uh, Dan's now arrived on the scene. Uh, he's doing wonders for his teammate at the moment. So we've got front three, then Caxel and Charlie. See if they can close oh. that gap down. A touch in the rear by Ty, and that has unsettled his car. Now Dan is on the move. Um, I think th he might try and see if he can get ahead here. No, he he won't use his battery. He's being no, smart. He's, he's trying With to save it. Charlie and Caxel switching positions into turn one. They will have to do that to try and catch up to the leaking group. And it is possible. Wow. Go on. 
Uh, back. Yeah, Charlie cut the corner. Ty is now going on the oh. inside into turn five, and it, it's a fine move. It could be three wide into turn four here. Mont, Lanky, and Ty. So Dan is now ahead of his teammate, and that was probably a swap between the two. And, that's and a we have a car. safety car because that battle I just looked away from. Which was uh, Caxel and Charlie. Charlie has not got front wing now. And we missed that because we were looking at Ty, Monts and Lanky all being very close to each other. Three wide. So an early safety car. Uh, Isaac's come in and I... Uh, 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 mm, about to say that's not very clever unless everybody else comes in. And that's not going to happen, so he's going to find himself a lap down. I would have overtaken the safety car and then done it. But Yeah, that would be the smart move, but you'd mix this in. Quite a few people have been staying out. I don't think that's the right choice, if I am going to be honest. D Summers under the pits. Why are you speeding? <laughs> um, so he's got a penalty now. Uh, but yeah, he will be held in the pits as well because of Charlie's front wing damage Ooh, um, we're going to have a it's going to be a race out the pit lane here between Mons Lanky and Yeet Mix who gets ahead of Connor yeah so I think uh, Yeet Mix is the lead lead person that who has pitted pit. yeah. yeah who has pitted yeah and then Grelis is second Currently down in eighth. Tay is on. Well, Tay's on the medium, so that could be interesting. We could see that Red Bull pit again. Um, Gredis, Wiseboy, Almanac, and Nico on the hard tyres. Um, a lot of guys have gone to the mediums, which is fairly yeah. interesting from 14th down. Let's yeah. See how they go with that. I think everyone needs to pit again. Um, you I, might I be able to go to the end of the hard tires, but your pace will be very poor at the end. You will lose around two to three seconds uh, compared to new tires. So, Stelcho leads. He didn't pit, but I don't think he had a choice. Uh, the McLarens would have double stacked and they would have lost a, a lot more time than what they had. Um, yeah, hopefully they can work together. That's the same issue that Caxel's had as well with uh, having Almanac here front. So at, at the moment, it's advantage back to Alpha Tauri in terms of the championship for the constructors. It is indeed. Oh, yeah, I is. completely forgot to do. Uh, we do have an instant replay uh, with the... Uh, I forgot what it was actually. Um, I think it was the Dan and Rob incident. So while we're on the safety car we can see it and... There we go. Rob is around and he basically lost his tire advantage on the hard tires. Yeah, that would be interesting to see where the... Where both of them were pointing. Yeah. So it had a we had a good angle coming into the, and then out the corner and then coming up the hill wasn't really great. Yeah. But bit we'll of what should it? Um. Completely forgot we have the the new beautiful uh, safety car stuff. Oh, we do have safety car in this lap. Cut light. That's very. Oh, late. he's proper slammed on the brakes. Oh. I don't think he did that on purpose, if I'm going to be uh, honest. There's some front wing. There's a lot of people that had to immediately slow down. That was a bit dangerous, I think. And Stelcho is away. Um, and Dan is now also under pressure from... From Mons. No, he's not. It's not. It's the... It's the lab car. Mercedes. Yeah, that's what it was. I was thinking... So, 
Stelcho then Caxel, who's going to go down the inside of turn four. Thought about it. And then a little bit squirrely on exit. Yeet Mix is already through on Lanky and put a car in between himself and Grellis. Yep. You want to watch Yeet Mix make the moves. He will probably send it down the inside into mm. here. Yes, he will. Oh, and there's contact between the two of them. Uh, yep. And Yeet Mix is ahead. Safety cars, spawn safety cars is coming to mind. Um, and Grellis down the inside of Lanky, who gives a lot of people space because he knows his race is going to be later on in a few laps time. Um, I know the safety car came in late, Hacko, but I don't know about you, I thought that was a bit of a naughty uh, restart. Yeah, you don't want to break that much, uh, I think. But uh, it does... I mean, it is weird when the safety car does that. Uh, it's very difficult to oh, know. Oh, contact between the front two. Sorry, Caxel and Stelcho. Stelcho oh. tries to it. Oh, Dan's just hit the back of him because he's and got he's lost his out of shape. Yeah. Uh, it's been a. I don't know what to say. He makes me make uh, the move. Stelcho turned into Caxel in the corner and the. Alpha Tower was just there. <laughs> yeah. That is unlucky. Rob does have damage. He's into the pits. Oh, Monster's just dived it down the inside. <laughs> that was also very silly. People are being Go quite on. silly Go now. Dan is yep, fighting it. And this just invite chaos, doesn't it? I think he's just trying to get round, but it's just like, there's a. can you not tell there's a Alpha Romeo that's really stricken? <laughs> <laughs> that can't turn. <laughs> so, uh, th mix there is it's now ahead in the lead again. Oh, push to the grass. Elbows are definitely out between guys tonight. Yes, they are. And I think we might just see Yeet Mix run away with it now. Uh, tie advantage will be huge. Oh, and Connor's got on the curb and Monster's picked up another penalty. And it's a bit of carnage further back here. Everybody <laughs> queuing up behind Monts. And Nico is trying to get ahead of Nisu. Oh, uh, that's Kona. My bad. And he does make the move stick. Destructor is now trying to make it as well. And he will be ahead. So that moves Destructor into P11. But the... Uh, oh, the Mercedes was... That is not where you try and fight it back through there don't want to do that that's an easy way to lose your wing uh, and look at the gap yet you'd make Scott that is the tie advantage just what's what's the what's the word that we always we've said quite a bit this year and unfortunately we've kind of seen it again tonight a racecraft it starts with P <laughs> you know? oh I don't know what you're talking about then I'm blanking. Patience. Oh, that's true. Patience is key. Yes. I mean, that, is, that <laughs> does come with racecraft as well, doesn't it? Yeah. And look uh, at Grillis now. I mean, Grillis does have three, to make one. the move now because uh, he's got a massive tie advantage. And look at oh. Kessel fighting it. And yeah, look at Grillis. He's got the tie advantage. I don't think there's a reason why Kessel should fight this. Uh, just loses himself more time. Um, He's still holding it in there, though. Oh, this could be interesting, though. Oh, it runs him out of road. Uh, three and a half seconds now is the gap. Three and a half. Oh, and there's a Williams off. That is Ty. And then we have the structure and Nico fighting. And it's too wide all over the place down here. And uh, Williams is struggling to keep it on the track. That is Ty. And he's just about within years of much up ahead both have three seconds of pens i'm pretty sure mm -hmm. um, 4.3 seconds he's lost nearly a second in one that and Caxel's gonna try and just fight great s and stout shows in here as well oh, i have a feeling this is oh more. and the alpha tarry goes well wide yeah Back oh the and he's oh. into the wall and he's out of the race and that's a safety car most likely isn't it not yeah. yes it is Oh, I think, yes, I did do the right one. Pete, 
took up my key points. And I do think um, that's his uh, own mistake, uh, if I'm gonna be yeah, honest. Yeah, that was a uh, that was not the greatest rejoin. Rejoin in the world. Like you came straight back onto the racing line. Oh Lord looks like I'm getting reports. I mean uh, I don't think there would have been a report there. Um it's just oh, Kaxo's own mistake. I mean I'm not gonna lie, the P three Discord chat says otherwise, but I'll leave it. I I I didn't think that was the greatest rejoin in the world. That was uh, yeah, uh, yeah, me neither. It does look like he just cut across uh, everyone else. So from our point of view, I if Isaac is listening and has a slight bit of intelligence about him, stay out. I wouldn't pit and stay out. Yeah, he's listen. Yes. Um, stay stay out because then you can now officially unlap yourself. Well, let's be on the, the same lap. You'd mix this into You're the pits. You're welcome. into the pits. Ties into the pits. Isula stays out. What the flip? Uh, Ty stays out. I don't. I don't think they do, but it is, it is something we will implement. Deathstorm's ab absolutely 100% right. Andre Fans carry out. over people. Remember this. You have been warned. What the flip indeed, Deathstorm? I was about to swear in the stream. You can't do that. That's a no-no. So Dan is staying out. He did pit early on. Um, yeah, look. He's into the points. He's up to ninth. Oh, this could be close. Just about got oh, the got ahead of uh, uh, Ferrari, he's, I mean. Yeah, he's got ahead of Lanky. So who has it saved? I've saved Dan a little bit. Who else has it saved? Saved Rob. Saved Almanac. Vaisi. Yep. Isaac. Summers. Saved Charlie. Isaac. Isaac will need to go around again. No, don't come in. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I think it might just enough be enough. I think it may be. <laughs> I will follow this because uh, this is going to uh, be. I think it'll be all right. As long as he hasn't got to do a yeah. fumble. Yeah, it'll be all right. It will be all right. You're lucky they're so slow out of that final hairpin and then from that point. Oh, my goodness me. It brains, is people. Jar. Brains. Please use them. Swear job, yeah, I'll tell you what. I think I do very well week in, week out not to say any expletives. Yeah, I because do so some, as well. Some of the some of the things that I see, uh Tay and Stelcher as well. Just, just stay behind each other. Gee, that's how difficult is it? I mean it is difficult when Celsius is gonna stay right up his bumper. That is also true. Uh, so we got three guys out the front that didn't come into pit. Uh, however, Hako, everybody has made their mandatory pit stop. We do indeed. And while we're on the safety car, let's look at the tyres. Um, eight level tyres for the top three. Uh, Dan is on four level tyres. Summers is on five. And then it's four down the field at the back. So uh, it is a bit split. So the guys on the older tires will have a bit of a disadvantage. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't think it will be in the slab because of the Mercedes mm -hmm. of Isaac. Possibly. Hopefully, he doesn't call it as late as what he did last time. And hopefully, people don't just stamp on the brakes. That'd be great. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, yeah, Rob can catch up. Yes, please, Rob, do that. Um, so Dan's going to be slightly at a disadvantage, but. Is on the medium tire, but he's a, in a better place than the front three. Could, they could be in a bit of trouble. Um, that is true. The other person I do worry about initially will be Stelcho Hako. He is on the hard tire. Everybody else around him is oh, on the medium. Andres into the Andre, pits. come in. Maybe you heard about how stupid it was to be on <laughs> eight level tires. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. If there's a choice of tires, I wouldn't be on that one. Yeah, I mean, it could work if there's a safety car again, um, so I won't rule it out, but uh, you're going to lose quite a bit of ground. Um, 
it's a late safety car, there'll be lots of people going on a set of soft tyres. They will have three at their disposal because of the lobby restart. Don't forget, everybody will be on new tyres. Lots of new tyres available. And one who will have warm tyres is Isaac. Mm -hmm. He's finally going to he be into the race again. He will finally be back on the lead lap. Yep. And that's what happens when you stay in the race. Yes. Uh, Caxel, the only retirement so far that's brought out a safety car. Uh, he, uh, if I'm being honest, I think he's slightly unlucky. He's not, he's the only one that's retired. There's been a few other people that could have found themselves also out of this race. Uh, Rob would have been one of them. We've had yeah. Andre spinning around, Nasula. And safety cane. Nasula has been round, but yet he's leading the race. Explain that to me. Safety car. Safety car. In. Uh, he's keeping it quite high paced. Yeah, he is. Keeping it really high paced. I don't think he wants to have it happen again. So I am going to switch scenes. And we are now go for the restart. And he does get a decent restart. It will Dad. be Heat Mix on the attack behind. He's on the hard tires. And. He will try oh, and see. Oh, don't show. Tay were very close. Yeah, I think there was a bit of a touch between them. And so should have lost ground. Look at Celsia though. He's going to try for the inside and he will make the inside work. He will be up and ahead. And Gredis will be right behind trying to uh, make it work as well. And Yeet Mix has got past Ty, which is important for that race and Gredis is going to try and go around the outside of the Williams it's kind of a sitting duck at the moment on those me stand up old mediums Nick uh, Tay's going to do the same Monsters hit the back of the Williams and he will and do it as well oh, run, it runs him out of road oh my god he's on the grass oh and he's probably going into the side of the McLaren as well Dan is through oh. Hako you've left the session that's not particularly very good but I'll keep talking you through it don't you worry oh. uh, um yeah, uh, for me the it's race you. has ended. It, it's alright, I will try and sort this out and we'll carry on. Uh, so it's Nasuda leading by Yeet Mix by half a second to Gredis, half a second to Tay. Uh, they are your top four, Monsters in fifth alongside Stelt Show and Dan Robbo in P7. Uh, for me Nasuda won. Had <laughs> he is currently still leading, you are correct, as Danny Alpine of Charlie's off the road. He's trying to get back on, it's all getting a bit feisty back here for 14th, 15th and 13th places. I will try and invite you back once you've sorted out and there is a break in the action so I don't miss it and I can keep talking and it'd be a podcast. I Congratulations on your podcast. Congratulations on your points and everything else that you've got for completing your goals. Uh, Thank you. The Mercedes of Havoc is looking to go down around the outside of the Ferraris. The two Ferraris are next to each other, which isn't ideal for the Constructors' Championship. And we're side by side with some wheel banging. As I'm scrolling my name all the way down to where he is. There he is. And... Uh, meanwhile, change of leader, uh, Yeetmix has got past Nasula, I say he has, uh, he now has now, Hako is back in, hello, congratulations. I'm back! Uh, Ye Yeetmix follows Nasula, then Grelis, then Tay, Yeetmix three seconds though. Bit of uh, issues tonight. Further back, we've got Destructo and Summers and... Uh, Connor wreaking havoc. I am finally Excuse. in again. Excuse the terrible pun. We're Noah's Ark two by two by two as we run up to uh, turn six. It is indeed, and um, Isaac is fighting with Vice Boy. It's side by side between them, and inside is King into that corner, and he is ahead. So A gap between the top eight and everybody else is now growing to out to four seconds. Oh, and look at, at the moment. Charlie. He's just splitting his way through the Ferraris and his own teammate even. 
Um, oh, and he's going to get pushed onto the grass and compromise his exit, so the other Ferrari could take advantage here. He's had a bit of an off, and he's having to try and fight back through. Uh, Stelcho is losing a couple of positions, and is down to seventh because the DRS. Uh, Nasuda, the same, loses one to Gredis, and he'd probably lose one here to uh, Tay as well. Uh, Nico is around, and he's in a really weird position. I've never seen oh. that before. Oh! Is he just... That the brings tire. out a safety car. I'm going to hurt you. Uh, someone's uh, front wing of golf. We're still three. Look at that on your screen. It is three wide. Uh, and it is now two wide. And it is uh, Thomas and Lanky three wide. Uh, two wide into the next corner. And Thomas have turned in early and he spun. And so have Lanky. Um, and, oh, that's some front wing damage. Isaac's round. No, he worked so hard to get back on the lead lap, but now we're facing the wrong way. Uh, tragic. Um, guys out front. Uh, top six, Dan Postelcho. Uh, everybody else is just about within DRS ish. Yeah, people Masuda are hanging. Struggling. He's into the pits. So, those tyres have died, I would assume. And uh, Yitmix and are switching players, uh, places. Still show is up the inside of Dan and he is almost around. That's a half spin and a half. Uh, Ty and Charlie are now fighting and Charlie is ahead. So he uh, has got pace, but the Williams but is Ty fighting. Ty is going to fight back and he's got the DRS as well around the outside. There's going to be Destructo getting amongst it as well. So uh, Charlie's gone from being ahead to now losing two positions back. Uh, Stelcho went half height there and it's now cost both of them because they're now off the back of Mons who's got uh, first row seats to the battle out front it's Yeet Mix and Gredis and Tay little top three so it is currently top four on new tyres I'm pretty sure Gredis and Yeet Mix do have penalties Tay do not so he is net leading right now, uh, if you count penalties. Dan is two seconds behind the leading group. Um, uh, Tay's got past Ty, uh, sorry, Andre's got past Ty quite early on. Uh, although the Williams looks to be pretty sharp in a straight line. We've had a collision, uh, that's between Nasula and uh, D Summers. The and third back. Oh, I'm going to hurt people. Sorry, Hacko. Yeah. They've had 16 weeks and we've had two in one race. That's not particularly good. Uh, good viewing because that does impact everybody else's race if the safety car does come out. Uh, we've had Rob by the looks of things in the wall and there is a virtual safety car that comes out because he's got, got a front wing. So while we are doing that, I think we got an instant replay. I forgot what it is. Oh yeah, that is Charlie uh, just flinging it around the Ferraris uh, and his own teammate even. Some of us who is now out. Uh, And that's it, really. Um, gotta go back to the safety car view. Since uh, we're on the virtual well, now. We are. Who's gonna try and make it to the end? Tires in the pits. On their tires. He'd make. Oh, there was there was two. There was two. There was two. There was two. We're gonna look for the second one. There was two of them. 100% there was two of them. Who else? Uh, it was, no, it was just Yeemix. Someone else got a, picked up a penalty. Don't know who it was. Yeemix got a drive through. That, oh, no. that will put him pretty far down, I reckon. Possibly at the points. Yep. It's quite a slow pit lane here. It's a very long one. It's not really that slow. It's just very slow. And oh, and Tay has lost it, coming out of the final corner. Oh. No. And 
and he's no. going to lose one to Dan. He'll probably lose one to Stelcho as well because of the better run. Stelcho going to go to the outside of the Red Bull. Yeah, and he will and be ahead into turn one. And that's and that the move, move done for the McLaren. Is done. I have a feeling fourth, fifth and sixth you are going to see here. This, this will be the battle for the podium places. Yeah, it could be Tays going for the inside into the next corner, but will he make it stick? Mm, yes, he will. He does have... He's on the medium tires. Stelcio does go quite a bit wide there. It is a fight between Destructo and Charlie as well. So and Charlie's eventually got it done. He's just not been able to break away in the middle sector to get out of it, because he's been constantly just battling... Uh, these guys since the uh, that second safety car. I'm ignoring it, Deathstorm. I'm trying to. <laughs> I mean, it's very difficult to not hit the pit lines when you're Ooh. taking the shortest line here, right? Uh, Almanac is up a place. Yes, he is. He's now moving into the points. So. Eatwigs so will need to serve his penalty this lap, or else he will be disqualified. Disqualified. And that's if he's... I hope he's seen it. If he hasn't seen it, we're going to have somebody very upset in a second. Uh, yes, we will. Pay Pay Stelcho. Side by side again. Yeah, it's they're fighting it. I'll tell you what, it's helping Dan at the moment, not putting any pressure on him. Currently sitting in fourth place. Uh, these guys have, have got a gap though to Charlie down in seventh and Destructo. And then it's uh, Connor, Wisey Boy, uh, Almanac and Andre fighting over the last few points positions. And then Lanky is back in 13th. However, not far away considering he's not got a penalty so far. Could be crucial with 13 points in between. Oh yeah, Grace is E3. Did I say E4? Oh, my bad. I apologise. The E3 yeah. champ. He may be E4, but I mean, he's e there's he's quite e a few in he's E4. E4. He's the E3. He's the E3 champ. As, uh, no, no, he's not. The E4 champ. Yeah. I mean, he does have the piss for E3. Um, Stop confusing me. It, it, it's it, it, it's going to be it's going to be a later finish here. It is going to be a later finish. I'm already tired. <laughs> so Charlie is now going forward on Destructor once again. Uh, so around the outside and to turn four. He's got it done. So that is it. And then it's gaps all the over the place now. Um, I'm interested to see what people are going to do. There's a lot of guys out there on the medium tyre. Uh, a certain individual in third is the one I'll be looking at. That is a retirement in picks Isaac. He did stay out as long as he could. Um, I respect it. Uh, interestingly, this lap, um, Charlie has brought the gap down to Stelcho by nearly a second. Yeah, Stelcho does look to be struggling uh, on his tyres um, for some reason. And he's on the harder compound, so he should have a bit of a big advantage by now. But Yeet Mix is still in the points, even after having to serve that drive through. Mm -hmm. I do think he would be, uh, just because of the squabbling that has been going on. There is a car coming back on track. I'm completely scared by this. Oh, Yeet Mix oh, almost hitting it. That's oh! I, <laughs> I hate this game. Wow. Um, uh, has it given anybody any damage? I don't think so. Hopefully not. Um, it has just split up that little train. Uh, that up together. Five seconds. Oh, uh, he has retired in the pits. Not the way we wanted to see him finish his last oh. race with us. Uh, Mons has made a mistake, and Dan is through. Dan is through on Mons, and he's got. And he's dropped the gap to Tay. So at the moment, it's uh, 
I've just looked at the penalty situation. Yep. Still show going for the instant one. No, he thinks better of it. But Tay does defend oh. it and he now will be compromised. Yeah. And look at the exit that Still show will have coming out of the corner. He does look to be a bit more on the pace now again. So his tires may come back to him now and he will move over to the racing line and then move done. Uh, oh, Disrupto to the inside of Charlie. We're going to have another Aston Martin here that's going to get in the way. This is going to get pretty scary. With the DRS open for Andre, that wasn't particularly very nice. Oh, look at Lanky as well. It is a bit scary with uh, with that. But Tay and Stelcho will be fighting for the podium. If none of them get a penalty, of course. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to put the curse on it or anything else. But I've looked at the gap to the and the certain penalty that somebody has. Is it six seconds? No, it's five speeding in the pit. Ooh. That's a bad one. So it's relatively close, but I think Dan's main concern is trying to get those tyres towards the end of the race. We don't know what shape all the medium runners are going to be on, which is why we're keeping an eye on the likes of Charlie and Stelcho, see what they can do in terms of progress. Yeah, and Charlie does keep the keep in front of the structure this time around. Yeetmix is catching up. He is driving quite well, even though he's gotten that drive through. So he will try. I think he's caught about a second uh, already. So he will catch up to those two uh, at some point. Um, I've I've also looked at something else. Constructors Championship has, as it stands, if the race finished as it does, with the penalties applied, uh, Ferrari will just be. Three points short to uh, Alpha Tauri because Destructo is on course to finish in fifth place. So it's going to be very close. Um, I don't know if he's who's got fastest lap either. Uh, no, Isaac has, so he hasn't got point for fast lap. So at the moment, it will be Alpha oh. Tauri as champions. Yes, it will be. Tay makes a no, still should make a mistake going wide and now. Tay is through, um, but then again, it doesn't matter who is leading right now. Oh, it, here we go again. It's avoid the AI car coming out of the pit lane and hope sure you to make sure that you don't die. I feel sorry for the guys from sixth down because it's been pretty much every single lap for the last three laps. Yep, and now it goes straight on. Dan oh. is losing time to Gredis in front. And Stelcio uh, is struggling a tiny bit. I mean, that it, it's, it's there. It's it's not really moved. <laughs> I mean, it? it's moved by a tenth or two. Yeah, it, it's it's about six seconds. So it has moved by a tenth and a bit, but it's uh, it's not that much difference. We've got four laps to go, and I I I, I have no idea what's going to happen here. I would love to have the AWS tire graphic to see what people's tires are on because that would be fantastic at this point. Yep. Delcho could get a move here done. Yes, he now. can. Will he use his ERS and DRS to get the move done? Yes, he will. He will go down the inside and he will be ahead before the corner even starts. So that's moved done for him. He is on the hard tires, so his tires will probably be in better condition by now. Safety car this lap would be lovely. I don't think so. No, no, no. Um, so if Charlie there's a safety and car this lap, fighting. If there's a safety car this lap, we're going to have about seven finishes. I think people will... Uh, oh, it's going to be carnage. Way too aggressive. Yeah, it'll be way too aggressive. Just keep an eye on the times of the front, guys. Dan has dropped off quite a bit this lap, but uh, that doesn't surprise me. I think Gredis will be as well although he's just dumped a bit of battery on this lap so the guys out front are about a second yeah about 1.3 seconds off their personal best at the moment 
does seem that they are about 40, 50 percent tied away. Destructo and Charlie fighting into turn one. Move done. Eatmix gain have gained half a second in comparison to the guys up ahead. Uh, I have seen that Tay is now ahead. Charlie and Destructo fighting again. Oh, it's side by side. Lank. And Lanky was wired there, and Almanac's gone through. Yeah, not a great day for Almanac. Oh, he's got damage as well. Has he? Yeah. Doesn't have a front end plate. On the, I'm guessing the left hand side of the car, because they both got very close. Yeah, they did. And Lanky's going to go down the inside. Oh, and that door got very shut very quickly. Yes, it did. Not been the b it's been interesting, but it's not been the best race in terms of quality since uh, the early couple of safety. Yes, okay. I do agree with that statement. Seven seconds to Dan behind. Uh, I I don't think he's interested now. <laughs> yeah, I think he might just be driving to. Uh, I I I I think he's more interested on the four icons that come on his screen. Could be around his tires. I think it's that. Uh, Charlie takes. I tell you what, we could we could put a highlights package out tonight of uh, Charlie versus Destructo because I reckon as Almanac. And as Lanky is off at turn two, uh, I reckon they've overtaken each other at least a dozen times. Yeah, I, I mean, we've been seeing and switch around every lap, but now it will be going on to the final lap, and the fight for the podium is on. Six tenths between them, five tenths, uh, and Tay does have quite a bit of battery, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so he will use it all on this main straight to try and see if he can get ahead of Stelcho. Stelcho is going to try and defend, <laughs> most likely. Yes, he will. Munch is into the pits. What the flip. Uh, he's retired. Oh, he's got loads of penalties, but he still would have got points because everyone else has got three seconds. Uh, so out front, the two of them decided to put the hammer down a little bit and... Burn their ERS. Meanwhile, Tay down the inside of Stelcho for P3. This is for the last uh, podium position. Yes, it for is indeed. the last round of the season. Stelcho is staying really close to the rear of that Red Bull. The hard tires are working for him. Does he have the ERS? Does Tay have the ERS? Or They've got the same ERS amount. <laughs> exactly the same. Stelcho will have to stay close. He will have to try and see if he can get it up to the line. Grellis will go over the line, but we will focus on this battle uh, as he, as it is very tight between the two of them. Two tens, three tens. Will the DRS and the slips will be enough going up to the Come line? It's going to be really close. Here it goes. Got to get behind him though, a bit more. And now the DRS closes in. Why is he not stay behind it for a little oh, bit longer? Oh, and he has got it. it. <laughs> he has done it, and it's the same with Charlie and Destructor up to the line. They finish side by side. Look at that, beautiful. And Yidmix does not get within corner. Is in P8, oh, YC P9. Andre will finish P10. Oh, did he pick up a penalty on the last lap? I think he might have. Almanac is out of fuel. I think. Oh, Destructo picked up a penalty in the last lap. That's why he lost the position. Didn't get fifth. Oh, no. Devastating. Uh, so, uh, with those results provisionally, and with Al Monac coming across the line, it is a congratulate. Well, despite not getting any points today, uh, Alpha Tari are your Constructors Champions for EU3. Uh, congratulations to Al Monac and Twitch Caxel. Uh, it also means in terms of the driver's championship, uh, obviously it was confirmed last week that Lewis was our champion or a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Dan will finish in second place. Uh, Halmanac will keep hold of third despite scoring no points because Caxel and the Sula also did the same thing and Selcho is too far behind. So your top three for the drivers will be uh, Racer, Dan Robbo and Almanac 
and your constructors champions will be Alpha Tauri in the end by about five points uh, to Ferrari uh, Alfa Romeo will finish in third place so congratulations to those guys yes we I totally agree oh my god I gotta, I gotta so, take the screenshots. You do have to take the screenshots. I shall do the order. So, Grenis, Dan Robo, Stelcho, uh, Tay in fourth, uh, Charlie, Destructo, Yeet Mix, Connor, Wiseboy, Andre, round out the top ten. Uh, Ty misses out on points, so does Lanky, Almanac, uh, Mont's classified, there's two laps down. Uh, Rob, Nasula, Isaac, D. Summers, and Butcher Council, all D and F. Yes. So I shall continue and do my plugs whilst you. To the chat for, for a chat for some interview. Um, so that was your last E3 action of the season. Don't worry. It's not the last contest of speed action. Uh, AM3 will be on in a few hours' time. So 9 p.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. UK, and 3 a.m. Central European time. If the European zones are more suited to your lifestyle and your needs, uh, EU2 is on tomorrow at 9 p.m. UK. You can watch uh, us two uh, race around here and fight to the death in EU2 between myself and Hacko because Williams versus McLaren is the, is the battle for the last podium place for the overall constructors. Uh, we share our nights with AM2. E1 on Thursday alongside AM1, which will conclude the racing action for the season. Spoiler okay. alert. And there's even a tight constructors battle for tomorrow as well. It is. Uh, spoiler alert. I'm not going to say the official date, but the first on track action you will see. From F124 and Contest of Speed will be the start of July. That isn't very far away. It's four weeks. Um, we will keep you posted. Uh, there was a meeting between myself, BK, and the powers that be last night. But I'm not going to go any further than that. We will let you guys know uh, at the end of the, hopefully at the end of the week final things we just got to finalize a couple of bits before we 100% confirm it yay yeah um quick thank you to hacko for we leave eventually uh, for having to put up with me for 16 weeks oh it was wonderful it was really enjoyable especially being here wasn't. with you and uh <laughs> even uh watching I mean, we had quite a few good races this year. Uh, we did. So, uh, on to the next game. Hopefully, it will be Ho even better. Hopefully, the partnership will continue. But we won't know until we do our pace tests and see what tier we're in. We may be in different tiers. It will have to be commentating together. Which we can Yo! Everybody else is starting to arrive. So, I will shut up and yes. listen to the people. Um, so, who do we start with? I, I would assume we start with Stealth Show. Um, oh, Kredis is out. He's gone. Uh, so, Stealth Show, how was your race? It was a good battle for the last podium there. Uh, across <laughs> the line, just about got it. Uh, yeah. what was your plan throughout the race? You had great qualifying pace and, uh, you ended up on the podium as well. Yeah, I mean... In the quality, it was, yeah, well, it said like raining in 10 minutes, so then I just uh, gone out. Uh, and then for the second time, I improved with like two tens. So then I got P2 in the quality. Uh, yeah, well, for the race, uh, started on the medium, um, which uh, worked, worked quite well, um, but like, when uh, the first safety car appeared and Yeet Mix uh, was ahead, uh, we decided to yeah, we'll pit him first because 
his head. And uh, then, uh, yeah, then I was in first. Uh, then when the second safety car appears, um, then like, then I'm pitting for the hards, and he he's also pitting because he had overtook me on his newer tires before the second safety car. So then we decided both to pit to do a double stack, uh, and I switched to the hards, uh, random until the end, uh, which worked pretty well. Uh, lost the rear, had a little bit problems with understeer, and losing the rear in this in the first like three corners of the lap and a little bit in the sector two but uh, like um, from a overview perspective i think the race went like pretty well also when i battled with the red bull to get the podium uh i um uh, i just did focus on the race and when it come up like last lap i was like oh it's last lap because i was just too focused on the battle and i i will i looked at my ers because i wasn't wanted to have it on the last lap and it paid off so yeah yeah it was definitely beautiful to watch you guys with position so many times um a bit of hairy moments as well in between um but uh, it's great to see you on the podium, and uh, hopefully, we, hopefully we will see you again next season, if not, if yeah. you're faster in uh, up in the E2. <laughs> 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 um, but it was great to catch you around uh, the finale. Uh, great to see you again, and uh, good luck for next season if you decide yeah. to uh, stay. Get in McLaren, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Now show my biased opinion. Uh, Unlucky Hacko, more points for, for McLaren over Williams. Yeah, again, Rob fumbles. Bottle <laughs> <laughs> Um So I think that should be the end of the stream. That is it. Gredos can't get in, and I, I, yeah. I can't, I can't repeat what my brother's doing. But yes, yes, indeed. I, I, I'll leave it at that. So uh, thank you all for watching tonight. Uh, do remember to watch tomorrow if you want to see the finale in EU2. If you want to see me or Matty uh, do a uh, breakfast. Um, breakfast. It'd be quite iconic if we if we both got a podium. I feel. Yeah, hopefully. Um, <laughs> it's um, a long shot. <laughs> it is a long shot, especially for you. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, we will see you guys uh, next time. I mean, that's not uh, another time. Uh, hopefully, we will see a bit of community races on the start of F124. But we will see by then, and we will catch you guys another time. And have a good night and have a great summer. Um, goodbye and good evening.